Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard and authority for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, I pray that you are finding great joy in your journey today that it is a thrill to serve the living God and to pattern our lives after his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today is October the 2nd in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, it's so good to be back with you. If you're a daily viewer, you are aware that we have had a couple of... Uh, computer issues and so that delayed us in actually getting a video out on one day the first time in an entire year that that has happened and that was most unfortunate but we are back with you today and we are going to look at Isaiah chapter 58. Now as we look at this chapter and this may be somewhat unfamiliar to you but what I want us to notice is that in our duty unto the Lord it is very easy to become religious even self-righteous and legalistic. And we have to be very careful of that. You know, in the time that we pray, in the time that we read and study our Bibles, in the things that we have sacrificed in this life for the Lord Jesus, in our service to others, all of these can lose their true power because we become religious in the practice of them and we lose the passion of them. And that's what's taking place here in Isaiah chapter 58. So let's begin together and let's just begin at verse 1. He says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So basically God is telling Isaiah, I want you to speak up. And I want you to show my people the error of their ways. Now notice, he doesn't say, I want you to show the world. I want you to show the pagan. No, he says, I want you to show my people, those who call themselves my followers. I want you to show them the error of their ways. Look at verse 2. They seek me daily. They delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness, they did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. That all sounds really good. I mean, if the angels were going to report to God about our lives, could they say that? They seek me daily. They delight to know my ways. As a nation, they're doing righteousness. They are not forsaking the ordinance of you, O Lord. They ask of you the ordinances of justice, and they delight in approaching to God, in fellowship with God, in prayer to God. They say to themselves, Why have we fasted, and you do not see? Wherefore, we have afflicted our soul. We've made all these sacrifices, and you take no knowledge. And the Lord says, Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure, and you exact all your labors. You fast for strife and debate. You fast to smite with the fist of wickedness. You shall not fast as you do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. But is this the fast that I have chosen, says the Almighty? A day for a man to afflict his soul. Now there are many that take spiritual pride in their fast. But God says, why would you do such a thing? The fast isn't a day to afflict your soul. Is it to bow down your head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under you? Will you call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? Isn't this the fast that I have chosen, says the Almighty? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, that you may break every yoke. In other words, the day of the fast shouldn't be about us, but it should be about others. Instead of sacrificing these things on our behalf, we should be out there serving others. Look at verse 7. He continues, Is it not to deal your bread to the hungry, 
You're fasting and you're going without food, but take that food and give it to someone who is hungry. Is it not to bring the poor that are cast out into your house? When you see the naked, that you would cover him and that you do not hide yourself from your own flesh. In other words, he's saying there are so many who take spiritual pride in their service unto the Lord, and yet they take no account of what is going on around them. They're not feeding the hungry. They're not inviting the homeless into their homes. They're not clothing the naked. These are the things that the Lord is looking for. And it says in verse 8, if you'll do these things, then your light will break forth as the morning, and your health will spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall go behind you. You shall call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry, and he will say, here I am. If you take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity... If you draw out your soul to the hungry, satisfy the afflicted, then shall your light rise in obscurity, and your darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord will guide you continually, and satisfy your soul, even in the difficult times, and make fat your bones. And you will be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not." Just a simple reminder this morning, friends, let us not be so focused upon our individual service unto the Lord that we forget about others, because he's more concerned about how we remember others, how we treat others, and what we do for others than he is how much time we have prayed, how much time we've read our Bibles, how much time we've spent in study, how much we've forsaken in this world whether it's material possessions or food. We can do all of those things, but as Paul told us, if you do not have love, true love, in meeting the needs of others, you have nothing. Well, I love you, friends. I pray the Lord Jesus will bless your walk today. I pray that praise will be upon your lips and joy will be upon your hearts. Now, as the Lord wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.